In this series of shoulder mobility warm-ups, we're going to go through different arm twists in different directions, and I'm demonstrating 10 of each one. The first thing that you want to feel is the way that when you start with the pinkies touching and spiral the fingers and the hands back towards your face and your chest, as many joints in the hands and the wrists as you can feel are moving and turning. You're going to let the hands point back towards your body, twist down, and then spiral out away from you. You're looking for constant turning through the hands and the wrists. And as we go through the set, you're going to feel it back through the elbows and the shoulders and down through the body. You notice as we start to come up and down, you begin to sit in the quad more actively. One of the things that you'll uncover in these shoulder mobility warm-ups is that your hips actually play a big role in loosening up your shoulders. So here as you come down, sit into the movement and then use the legs to drive the arms up and through. Again, mostly you want to be feeling that you're turning the hands, turning the wrists, turning the forearms for as much of the movement as possible instead of just bringing the arms up and down. There's a little bit of a bounce at the bottom that you start to find and you'll start to spring up out of the legs. And you'll accentuate that here so you're gathering, springing up, and you feel the twist. You see the twist go up through the fingertips the entire time. As much as possible, especially on the rise, you want to see the arms continuously turn. You can see that in the hands as they go above my head in this one. So twisting up, lengthening up through the body, and then gathering all the springs of the body as you go to the bottom. You'll even feel that stretch coming up through the spine, up through the neck, up to the top of the head. As you start to twist out, sitting into the quad becomes extra important. You're taking the shoulders through a much bigger range of motion now as you swim out to the sides. So their turnover point is not in the front, it's when the arms go to 180 degrees, the arms go to either side of the body. At that moment, you come out to 180, sit in the quad, start to bring the arms through by the body, and the more you have that bend in the quad, that sink in the quad, the better. The more twist you'll get through the arms, and the easier, the more it'll loosen the shoulders. Same thing here, as you come back to the body, you should already be sitting, so when the arms get out to the sides, start to sink, start to sit in the quad, and that's gonna make threading the arms through the body as easy as possible. If you think about the rotator cuff, if you can feel the rotator cuff turning through the ball and socket joint, you're going to feel a continuous turn there as well. So you really start to feel the muscles and the tissue around the shoulder joint start to loosen and turn as you do these exercises. And again, the more you come up through the body, make it a whole body exercise, the better, the more connected you're going to feel.